Mm. And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I'm talking about Serial Experiments Lane. This is part of a series of videos that I'm doing about that particular show. In this video, I want to talk about how computers are used in that show. The people in Lane use computers in three primary ways. One is as a hobby. We see people gaming and chatting and engaging in general geekiness using computers. That's important because one of Lane's other themes is the importance of face-to-face -face human relationships and connections with people outside of computers. Despite that, it's not an anti-technology or anti-computer show. In other words, it's not saying we should throw away computers, it's saying that people use computers in many ways and some of those have good effects and some of them have bad effects. For example, we see that one mother who's also a member of the Knights and how she uses computers to play video games with her son and it's a way that they interact. That's great. We also see Yasuo, Lane's father, gets sucked into computers and he barely even acknowledges his daughter when she comes into his room asking for something. He's so intent on computers. The second way that we see computers and the wired used in the show is as a way to build relationships and to start to connect with people. However, we see that people are literally small slices of themselves online, just an eye or an ear. Now, Lane and the Knights are exceptions because of their special abilities. The point being that attempting to build relationships online has inherent limitations because of how little we're seeing of people, which I think is a, a beautiful way of getting across those inherent limitations in the medium. Thirdly, there are some hints that the Wired can be used for socio-political purposes, especially with groups like the Knights. However, this doesn't seem to work particularly well. Partly, this is because of how people act more aggressively online. We see this in the Wired, especially with Lane, who is much more self-confident in her conversations on the Wired than she is in real life. And we certainly see that this is true on the internet that we have. You combine that with the massive amount of disinformation on The Wired. I think this is why all of that material about the conspiracy theories and aliens and so forth is in the show. That ends up having nothing to do with the story or the plot. It represents the sheer amount of disinformation out there that one has to sift through and wade through and think about to decide whether it's actually relevant or not. So when people have all of that information, they're much more shielded in a way than they are in real life. And so it's much harder to change people's minds. And so using the wired for socio-political ends of changing things is difficult at best. While we're on the subject of the wired, it's interesting how interactions on the wired are shown in a very abstract and representational way. Now, I've wondered whether that is literally what the wired looks like in their world, or whether that's a metaphor for what it's like to talk on the internet. And I like that interpretation. There are quite a few images in the show that pretty closely match what I feel like when I'm talking to people on the internet. And it's actually quite impressive how the show managed to find visual metaphors that really get across something that otherwise looks like people sitting in front of a computer doing this. Then you contrast that with the fact that the hardware in the show, in the real world in the show, is represented very realistically. When Lane goes to Tachibana Labs and fixes that PC for the creepy guy, that looks like an actual IBM PC XT machine. When she talks about moving jumpers, those are actually jumpers. That's what you do. Even the future tech of the show consists of extrapolations of existing designs, like Lane's hand navy looks a lot like an Apple Newton. Speaking of Apple, there are a lot of little Apple references scattered throughout the series. For example, Copland OS, which appears to be the OS everyone uses. Copland is the name of an OS that Apple was working on as sort of a next generation OS within the company that ended up never seeing the light of day. When every episode ends with to be continued, and you notice how the B is red and blue, that B is actually the logo of a company made up largely of ex-Apple employees who are working on their own next generation operating system. And then there's stuff like Lane's hand navy being very much like the Apple Newton. Now, I don't think this means anything within the show beyond the idea of the staff actually being big Apple fans. And certainly the writer of the show, Chiaki J. Kanaka, 
he is a Big Apple fan. That's plastered all over his website. And finally, we come to the one big ever-present technological element of the show, those buzzing power lines. Now, this is clearly something where you could interpret it many different ways. I like looking at those power lines as a reminder of the ever-present nature of technology. It's all around us and it's inescapable. Now again, Lane is not an anti-technology show. I think it's saying that this is something that exists and we have to deal with. We are soaking in technology and in the internet. And it's important to be aware of the addictive quality of that and the fact that you can just use it poorly for yourself. I know when I first watched Lane, I was deep into the internet. I was using it massive for massive amounts of my life. And as a result of watching Lane, I seriously re-evaluated how much time I was spending on those things. And I started pursuing more face-to-face -face relationships. And it's tremendously improved the quality of my life. So I want to thank the creators of Lane for, for doing that and making a show that helped me to reevaluate the time I spend on things and how valuable that is. And I hope this video has helped you to rethink Lane a little bit more. Check out my channel for more videos on Lane and other interesting anime. Thanks for watching.